how do we find interest and in what's it mean to you? Well, um, I'm not just a math teacher. I used to sell cars. I used to collect bills. And people get, in, get into all sorts of problems uh, managing their money, uh, usually because they don't realize what they're doing with it. Uh, it just sounds good, and, and the numbers are intimidating, and uh, they just go with it. Uh, they either have the money or they don't, and then when they don't, problems exist. So let's see how interest can actually uh, help you and hurt you. Uh, interest is, is just extra money uh, that you give back to the bank or your lender for giving you money that you don't have, or if you're letting your money sit in a savings account, um, it's 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 money that you can earn when it's not doing anything. If you want to be a little risky, you can invest in stocks. And if um, you know your your shares go up, it's you, you could almost think of it as a way of interest, but it's it's a lot more risky. So usually we're we're talking about more in the money uh, financial markets of um, taking out money as a form of a mortgage. You know, paying for a house, a car loan. Um, and, and we're going to be looking at simple interest, and it's I equals PRT. That's our formula. So the I stands for interest. That's uh, the, the amount uh, that the lender is going to be charging you. It could also be the amount that you've earned if you let it sit in their bank in a savings account. P would be the principal. That's the amount that you're going to borrow. The rate is just your interest percent. And then uh, T uh, would be time, and that's usually in years uh, to pay back that loan. So let's just say you found a car and you need $11,000 to buy it. Uh, the bank decides that they'll give it to you if you'll take 8% interest and they'll give you five years to pay it back. If it takes you five years to pay it back, how much interest are you going to have to pay on top of the $11,000? Because remember, it's a loan. They're not giving you the money. You're going to pay back every penny, but they're going to pay back extra because they're being generous enough to let you have the money now that you don't have. So 11000 is the principal. Um, the rate is 8%, so let's make that into a decimal. That would be 0.08. And the time is 5 years, so that's 5. You multiply all three of these numbers together, and it's $4,400. So basically... Um, you're going to be paying back $15,400 over five years. Um, you only needed 11, but you didn't have it, so you had to borrow it. And it's going to cost you $4,400 over the course of five years, $4,400 extra dollars um, that you wouldn't have had to pay if you'd saved the money up yourself. Um, it also works to earn, earn interest, too. So let's take a look at this. Um, let's just say you have a savings account. You worked hard, you built it up to $10,000, and the bank is going to give you a very small 0.75%. That's not 75%, that's less than 1%. They're going to give you 0.75% every single year. How much will you earn in 10 years? We can use the same formula. Interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. So... Our principal is the amount that we have sitting in there, 10,000. Our decimal, we would need to slide the decimal over two more spots to make our percent into our decimal. So 0 0.0075, it looks funny, but that's, that's how you write 0.75% as a decimal. And then it was in there for 10 years. So if you did not touch it for 10 years and the bank gave you this percent every single year, you'd make $750. Don't have to do anything. It's just you look in there, and ten years later, your account has ten thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars in it. Um, you know, it, it sounds great, and I, I want you to be able to to save up money. But please keep in mind that inflation is usually more than that. So you probably need to keep saving and and get to the point where you've got millions in the bank if you're wanting to to live off of uh, interest loan um, savings. That's how you use these uh, formulas. It's not too difficult. Just identify the amount of money, change your percent into a decimal, figure out how many years, multiply them together. That's your interest. Um, and then you just have to determine um, is the interest going to help you or hurt you. It just depends on the situation.